So today I wanted to do a quick episode on um, yard work and what my plan is to try and get some yard work done and make the yard look nicer this spring and summer. Um, I, I sometimes, usually what happens is when the spring comes, I'll spend like an entire weekend just like going crazy, going through the whole yard, trying to get everything done. I'm like tired out after it. My body's aching from squatting and pulling weeds and all this major cleanup and everything. And it's kind of like overwhelming and it has to take up a whole weekend and all that kind of stuff. So this year, what I'm gonna try and do, so I just wanted to share it. I, I think it would be a really great idea. So hopefully maybe this will help someone if you have some things you gotta get done in your yard. Um, what I really, really wanna try and do is spend 15 minute blocks of doing some yard work. Because I was thinking if I could spend like 40, even like, okay, my fate, my idea was five. I, I seriously doubt if I'll stick to five days a week of doing this. But even if I could just do like two or three, if I could do like, say if I could do three days a week at 15 minutes, that's 45 minutes a week of doing yard work at 15 minute intervals. So like this weekend, this past weekend, it was nice out. I had a reminder set on my phone that said do yard work. And I went outside in the front yard and we have like a little tree with some, um, like uh, my dog's barking. Hopefully she'll stop. Okay, I think she stopped. <laughs> um, we have uh, this tree and it has like a little like border around it and then it has like some hostas in it, but there was like grass growing in there and um, some weeds and things like that, that it started to grow like, you know, in the spring and I hadn't cleaned it out yet. So um, I was like, all right, I'm just gonna go outside and set a timer for 15 minutes and I'm gonna work on that spot. And I just like sat there real relaxed. I didn't go like crazy, like trying to like dig real hard and do it real fast. I just kind of like had a little tool and I like, you know, dug out the grass and dug out the weeds. And, um, you know, when the timer was done, I quit. Like as soon as the 15 minute timer was done, I was like, okay, I'm done for the day. And I went inside and it was really nice. And I was like, wow, that's cool. I just accomplished that. Like it goes back to the something is better than nothing and progress over perfection. Um, all those things that I really like to always try and think of when I'm trying to get something done, but I know I can't do all of it. And then when I did that, I was just kept thinking like, can you imagine what I could accomplish if I just did 15 minutes a day of doing like these little, um, little bit of weeding, little bit of trimming this or that, um, mulching something. I was even thinking like, you know, mulching, it's so, to me, it's like overwhelming. I gotta get all this mulch, I gotta do all the beds. And then I was just like, well, what would be wrong with like running to Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever and getting like a couple bags of mulch and just doing like one spot and then like next week doing another spot. It's if, if you're not going to, if you, not if you're not going to, but if you don't want to take that like whole day thing of doing this massive yard project, doing one bed and mulching it, sure, your whole entire yard's not done, but that bed looks nicer than it did and it looks nicer than if you did nothing. So I, um, I really want to try that really bad. I'm also trying to do, um, well, not trying to, but last year I did container gardens and I want to do the same thing this year. So in that 15 minutes, I could go like, look at the tomatoes, do like, does anything need to be pruned on them? Um, do they need fertilizer? Just whatever, you know, you could go outside. I'm sure there's got to be something like, does like weed killer need to be put down on like we have a paver deck and I last year I found like that recipe that a lot of people make where you put like the vinegar and is it like baking soda oh shoot I can't remember what, what else is in it but you know it's like that homemade weed color killer so I made that and I sprayed it on our pavers last year and it like killed the weeds and it was no chemicals and everything so even like that, like that could be done in 15 minutes. You just mix up a batch and just hit an area and you get whatever area you can get in 15 minutes. You don't have to do the entire pavers. Like nobody says that you have to get it all done. It's better to get a section done than to get nothing done. And then maybe another day you do another section. So I wanna, I really wanna try that. Um, oh, but with, like with the container garden, 
I'm hoping I can still do it this year. I have um, a couple buckets of things that like grew back from last year, like some, uh, I think it's like parsley, some sage, oregano. I forget what, the, what they are. I'm just looking at them here, looking out on my patio. But then I did a bunch of tomatoes last year and I usually order from the burpee.com website because I had really good luck with their tomato plants last year. They send them to you like already um, part grown. You know, they're like small little plants and they ship them and then you just plant them in your garden. You have to like give them like a short adjustment time. Like it says like to put it in shade for a period or whatever. And then you put them in the bucket, you know, in your, I do container stuff. So I put it in the container because our soil here is like really bad. We tried for years and years to do a garden like in our ground. And well, one, we have like, we don't have good sun where we're at. We have a lot of trees in the yard. We don't really have like a really good sunny spot but we put it in the sunniest spot we could find. But then in addition to that, our soil is like really sandy here and we just kept adding to it and adding to it and adding to it. And it seemed like no matter what we did, the, the dirt would just, the sand would just suck up how much water and nutrients we tried to add and everything. So I was just like, I can't, it's just too much. So I started doing some container gardens and I buy like, you know, the plants that are kind of good for containers. Um, but anyway, so when I went to order my tomato plants or any kind of vegetable plants or any kind of plants at all from Burpee, it seemed like almost everything was out of stock. So I guess that everybody decided to um, plant like gardens this year because of the COVID um, quarantine. Like I, I'm guessing that's why because I've never had that problem where I went to order plants and every single thing that I wanted to get was out of stock. It was like the craziest thing. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to get something like that, but uh, we'll see, hopefully. And then I also do like plants around, we have a hot tub and like a pergola that surrounds it and I have like hanging baskets there. So I usually do like petunia waves and um, things like that in those buckets. And then I also buy seeds, which I already got on eBay for, um, oh, what the heck are they called? They're like a really quick growing, um, seed like vine that like grows up along the uh, around the pergola and I cannot think of what they're called at the moment but anyway so I just wanted to share that with you I don't know if maybe that will help someone it doesn't have to be gardening it could be or yard work it can be anything really that you are trying to get accomplished and you're just not making progress on maybe try and see if you could put in uh, 15 minutes here and there and like really try and stick to it because most of the time you can squeeze in 15 minutes in a day, even though I know we're all really busy and it doesn't seem like you have 15 minutes to spare. But if you think of it, I'm sure there's 15 minutes at some point in your day where you sat down or did something. And if you just kind of relax, they kind of try and make it like a relaxing thing. Like, okay, I'm going to go um, do this now. Like that's what I tried to do with the cleaning up the yard, the, the little spot that I did. I was like, okay, let me just... Um, go do this like as a fun thing I'm gonna go pull the grass out of this little area and I just sat and relaxed and did it and it was really productive so I'm gonna try it this spring and summer and I'm really hoping that it'll be helpful to my yard and maybe you can give it a try too so um, also before I go don't forget um, check out the Facebook page. We have um, a Facebook page where I have so far have just been sharing some of the recipes that I've posted or the, um, sharing some of the recipes that I have shared in the meal plans that I have been doing. I've been doing a weekly meal plan episode where I basically just tell you each day of the week, like for the upcoming week, what we have on our meal plan. I'm hoping that maybe that might help you with creating your own meal plan or give you some ideas of some things to make. Um, so the recipes are on there. Um, you can also message me on there or leave a comment. Um, you can also go to um, our group. We have a private listeners group. It's me and one other person so far, but I know that we'll build it to a really great group and we'll be able to share ideas on cleaning and cooking and budgeting and anything else, goal setting, habit tracking, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, you can join the group by going to facebook.com slash groups slash Lola's Frugal Life. And um, that's all one word. 
So that would be really awesome if you go there and submit a request to join. You don't have to answer any questions or anything like that. You just click join, like join group or whatever. And then as soon as I see it, I'll approve you and um, we can start sharing information on there. And if I didn't say, I, I can't remember now if I said the, the uh, link for the um, actual, just the plain Facebook page, that's facebook.com slash lolasfrugallife.com. So the only difference is um, for the group, you put like facebook.com slash groups slash Lola's Frugal Life. And um, either way, if you go to the regular page, you can find a link to the group there. So I would be really excited to get feedback, see if there's any topics you want to hear, or any certain kind of episodes, or any feedback you have on the episodes I've done so far. And uh, that's it for today's episode. I hope you have a really awesome day, and thanks so much for listening.